Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Moongodess Oraka. Welcome to my channel. This reading can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. And this is about, is this relationship over? So let's look into what is happening. First looking at your energy so you can decide whether this is your reading. And then seeing uh, your person, how they see you, the relationship and why they are disappointed. So let's start with you, Virgo. I hope you are doing well. Let's see what is happening. The way you see your person is the farther gate. Bold step forward, number 55 energy. So they definitely, um, you, you believe that they um, are done. They are finished. They checked out of the connection because they had to take a step and they weren't ready to do that. So they literally ran away. How do you see the connection itself? This was your person. How do you see the connection? The jeweled web, connectivity. Another five, 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 five. Um, in spite of the distance between the two of you, you energetically always feel connected. You feel their energy. Uh, they possibly feel yours. Uh, you feel their emotional changes. Um, and um, five, five, five is breaking out of the chrysalis. It is like some kind of giant transformation for them uh, to become the butterfly. Um, so you perceive them as they are already going through some kind of shift, energy shift, change. Let's see what um, disappointed you. Perfect storm, the courage to step into life. So, yeah, that's very interesting. Bold step forward, courage to step into life. So, you are disappointed because you thought that um, you two together take the steps to move through this portal and uh, they did not come with you. Very interesting numbers, 55, 5, 44, and... Um, also, it we can we can look at it like five five going back to three back to two jumping to four and four. So it's like a, a setback. You feel like um, maybe it's not fully done. There is a chance that they are coming back to do the work together with you, but you are unsure about it. Okay, now let's see how your person sees you, Virgo. Okay, we've got overflow, overwhelm and plenty, skywriting the fate. So they believe that this is a destined connection between the two of you, but it's too much for them. They can't handle it. Maybe at this time, emotionally, definitely, it's something uh, tasking on them. 4349 we've got. So the 43 is like they are trying to be connected to the universe and grounding themselves because the energy they feel from you, this beautiful water energy emotions, is um, almost like sweeping them away. And they need to make sure they are not drowning. And the skywriting, the fates, is like. Um, 4 plus 9 adding up to 13 and 1 plus 3 is 4 again. So 4, 3, 4 we've got here. Um, they know deep inside that this is a destined situation. It's happening for a reason. The two of you met for a reason. Uh, they don't know how to handle this. That's for sure. How they see the connection. Me talks. Repairing the body, mind and spirit. Another 14 energy, 3 plus, sorry, no, that's not, it's a th 12 energy, <laughs> 3 plus 9 is 12, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So, 
this is about the emotions, cleansing, uh, getting clarity on how they truly feel, uh, taking time out to um, reset themselves, possibly on a higher level. They need to focus on themselves. So as the, the way they see the connection is that you, Virgo, are um, taking more time on yourself, with yourself. You changed your priorities. Maybe they were everything for you and you dropped everything when they uh, came uh, to see you. And now you are like, well, I am living my life. If you want to be with me, you need to make compromises as well, kind of telling them. Um, so they almost feel like giving you space and watching you, how you are changing. What is disappointing them? The lost compass, getting back to integrity. It came out reversed. Um, three and five. So that's some, some positive change happening here. But what disappoints them is um, they don't know you anymore. They could predict lots of things with you in the past and they don't know now what to expect. They could read you like a book, mostly. But now they don't know what to expect from you. So let's clarify before we get to the outcome. So your person is feeling overwhelmed but also believes that this is a destined connection. Okay, let's see. How they see you? What does it mean? Intuition, this is the Queen of Cups. So they do see you as this loving, caring person. And there is some kind of competition with you. Five of Wands. So I am feeling like they might uh, be also a loving, caring person, but somehow it doesn't come across like that. Or um, let me get more about this. I don't fully understand what is this problem here. Wisdom and blame, right? The word card and the eight of swords. So this is definitely a fight between their heart and their head. And... Um, They don't want to change things between the two of you and blaming you that you are changing so they need to change as well. And therefore everything is changing. What is this uh, me talks, how they see the connection? The unknowable and labor of love showing up here. Um, this is the high priestess with the eight of pentacles. And uh, the bottom of the deck is the Five of Pentacles, the Perseverance. So because you changed your focus from them to yourself, Virgo, they feel left out in the cold. You are focusing on your work. And um, it's like they don't know where this can lead. They are unsure of how things are going to unfold. And what is this disappointment about? What is this disappointment about? This is the Knight of Pentacles. Explore. So 
they wanted to explore things with you together although they treated you as an option and now they are not happy that things are changing everything is shifting everything is changing nothing as it was in the past uh, so far you could be dealing with a capricorn or a cancer okay so let's see what is the possible outcome of this connection we've got the root girl the disowned self so some kind of healing needs to take place this is a number 10 energy 4 plus 6 is 10 um, so finding stability by connecting with your heart both of you and uh, the bottom of the deck is the first breath beginner's mind number three energy so it's again lots of things are leading back to the same place emotion emotional balance healing emotions uh, going down to the root of the problem healing inner wounds and starting anew so I feel that um, possibly there is healing to do for both of you, but it feels like that your person needs to address things because there is this competition and blame. And uh, at the bottom of the deck, we've got... Um, hollow bone, teachability, repairing the whale, forgiveness, feast of plenty, choices and their consequences. So every single one of us can be a teacher and a student, even in the same relationship. And um, that's, uh, that takes some uh, courage to accept that sometimes we are learning and sometimes we are teaching. So spirit is asking both of you to forgive yourselves, forgive the other person, be teachable, and um, your choices have their consequences. So right now I feel that, that there is this, very strong feeling of sadness, disappointment, losing faith. But we've got the King of uh, Cups here. So there is love for each other and frozen Four of Cups, rejection, frozen water, ice. So it can be that, all right, so what I am getting from spirit, you Virgo could have been in a situation where you needed to apply tough love to go cold on your person. And it also is possible because they are in their ego by the look of this, um, they gone stone cold. And, um, this is dormant now. The connection went into sleep because there was this chance for the two of you to go together to the next gate, to open that together. And that bold step forward did not happen or not yet. Okay, so let's see what is this frozen about. Oh, okay, flying around. Honesty page of pentacles so i feel honesty is needed on both sides not as if you are lying to each other on a regular basis but it's more like becoming open expressing how you both are feeling about each other about the situation um very interesting so let's see what spirit is saying about this outcome girl talk date at the bottom seduction okay so the bottom of the deck is this date 
meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. So Virgo, you could be feeling that it's just not working. So you are moving on. They could be doing the same. Even if not dating, they could have been choosing someone else. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun and seduction, attracting, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So your person or you could have been or still can be in a third party situation and um, you will go and not waiting for them right now. You are like, okay, we, we're gonna separate ways. Things didn't happen. There was a big build up towards uh, a giant breakthrough and uh, you are both disappointed for different reasons. Could be feeling this heartbreak, stabbed in the back, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack, deception. That's why the two of you need to talk. Because uh, this is, um, this may look like none of you are interested in each other or it wasn't love or lots of questions could be running through in your heads, both of you, for both of you. But um, that's not the case because you both have love for each other. We've got the King of Cups here and um, and frozen emotions, rejection. You both feel rejected in this situation. So in the extended Virgo, I'm going to look into uh, what we can find out about your person because you know how you feel, um, what you think. And, uh, and let's see whether this, this energy of... It, it does feel frozen. It's like, um, <laughs> I can't uh, bring up any specific films, but in, in films you could see sometimes like uh, uh, people got just frozen in a second. <laughs> like uh, I, I was watching the blockbuster, block, uh, Ghostbusters, <laughs> Ghostbusters, um, Frozen Empire, and, and their people just got frozen in a second. And it does feel like that that's what happened with, two, with the two of you. <sighs> there is healing needed on both sides to different degrees. So I, I am very curious uh, what is Spirit saying in the extended. Thank you, Virgo, so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. And keep an eye on my uh, videos, explanations, how my offerings are expanding. There are lots of changes, constant movements. So uh, let me know if you have questions. And uh, I can't wait to see you again. Take care. Bye for now.